Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to update and install your sound driver in a Windows based computer. This tutorial will be done in Windows 10. However, you can pretty much run this same process through Windows all the way back to Windows XP. So just follow along with the steps on screen. Now for people that do not have sound, obviously they want to be able to hear what I'm saying right now, but there will be some text in the description of this video that will give an outline of what we are doing on screen. So the first thing we are going to do is head over to our start button. We want to type in device manager. We want to open that up. Near the bottom of this list here, it says sound, video, and game controllers. We want to left click on this little arrow. This will open up a drop down menu and we can see that we have something called high definition audio device. For most people, it would be something along the lines of Realtek high definition audio. So if it doesn't say exactly this, don't worry about it. It shouldn't really make that big of a deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our audio device and then we're going to left click on update driver software. So the first option here would be to search automatically for updated driver software. And the second option here is to browse my computer for driver software. The first thing we're going to do is see if we can try to update our driver software automatically because it is the easiest way to do it if you can do it this way. So we're going to click on the first option and we get a notification here saying the best driver software for your device is already installed. Now this is not really uncommon to get this. In the other instance you might get a notification telling you that there is a better driver that can be installed and then just follow the on-screen instructions from there. So if this does not solve your issue you can either click on this little arrow or click on close and then go back through what we just did. I'm going to click on this little arrow and this will return us to the previous page. And now we can see our second option is to browse my computer for driver software. Now in order to do this you have to have the driver on the computer somewhere. And for this we would have to go online. So I'm just going to open up a web browser here. And if you've ever installed drivers manually this process is pretty much the exact same thing as what you've done in the past. Now I'm going to be using Realtek as an example for what driver most people are going to be searching for. If you are searching for a different name, just follow the steps that I'm doing in this video except type in whatever name the sound driver is that is currently on your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start typing in Realtek High Definition Audio Driver and we can see we have plenty of auto generated results here. And we want to head down to something that says Realtek Audio and Network Drivers. Now I am going to warn you guys when I tried to go on this page earlier. Unfortunately the website is currently down. And it's been down for the last several hours as far as I can see. The server is actually down for this website. So unfortunately I cannot actually show you guys how to download the driver. But it should be pretty self-explanatory on this web page. There should be a list of drivers. Just make sure you select it for the correct version of Windows. And if you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows, make sure you select the proper download. And then at that point, just make sure you download the driver to a place on your computer you can easily access it. Typically, I would recommend the desktop. And then at that point, you would just left click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And then you would just left click on this little Browse button and then you can navigate to the desktop. So then you could go under desktop and if you had any items on your desktop that were drivers, you could install them manually through this. And then you would just click, click on next and you would just walk through the on-screen instructions. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.